This video demonstrates the two workflows for withdrawing and deleting records in Leap. Items can be withdrawn and deleted from the item record or in bulk from a record set. To open the item record that you need to withdraw, scan the barcode into the search box. Next, click on the Details tab. Change the circulation status to Withdrawn, then press Save. Next, you need to delete the record. Open the Actions drop-down menu and press Delete. Next, press Continue. This marks a record for deletion. Deleted records are purged from the database once a month. If you've withdrawn the title by mistake, you can undelete the record and change the circulation status. From the item record, click on the Actions drop-down menu. Then press Undelete. On the Details tab, change the circulation status to Available. Next, press Save. The second way to withdraw items is in bulk from a record set. First, create a new record set. Open the new drop-down menu and select Record Set. Select Item from the Record Type drop-down menu. You can add items to the record set by scanning in a barcode, using the Find tool, or importing a file of barcodes. After all items have been added to the record set and the record set has been saved, you can bulk change the items in the record set. Open the Actions drop-down menu at the top and select Bulk Change from the menu. On the Item Record Bulk Change screen, click on the Circulation tab. Change the circulation status to Withdrawn and then press Update Items. Next, press Continue. The Item Bulk Change report downloads automatically. To delete the records, select the checkbox for selecting all items. Open the Actions drop-down menu that is directly over the list of records. Then press Delete Selected Records. A screen pops up asking if you are sure you want to delete the selected item records and asks you about the warnings you'd like to see. Warnings for breakable links include issues like overdue fines and items being in another record set. Warnings for unbreakable links include issues like items that have holds or that are checked out. Press continue to delete the items. The items have been successfully deleted from the record set and marked for deletion. This has been a tutorial on withdrawing and deleting item records in Leap. Check out the Record Sets in Leap course for additional tutorials on record sets and bulk changes. If you have any questions, contact help at ccslib.org.